Welcome back guys. Tonight I've got a bit of a video for you. Call it a product review, call it experiment, call it whatever you like. Um, I recently got into clay pots and I got a, a glazed pot and because I thought that was the safest way to go to avoid lead and also dealing with mold and you know the other issues you know unglazed pots have. I saw one comment on one forum and it, somebody mentioned that glazed pots can have lead in the uh, glaze. So I don't take that lightly. I have been exposed to lead working in gun range when I was younger and I do take lead very seriously. So this is gonna go on my YouTube. It's also gonna go on my Instagram. And potentially this video is gonna be, if, I don't know, health department, who may be requested, I'll be giving it to them also. So I am gonna be very thorough with this video to make sure everything is in line um, in case they need it. So this is not gonna be a short video. So I have the 3M lead checker. Um, this is FDA approved. It says on there. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is, is, is I have the clay pot. I've never used any chemicals in it. All I ever use is water and a washcloth to clean it. Um, and I've got it cleaned over there, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the directions for how to use it. Here are all these steps as far as how to use it. I wanna show you guys very thoroughly with this. Um, yes, unglazed pots can have lead stuff in it too, but that's that's a whole separate issue. This is just for people that have glazed that we're gonna test it on. I don't know if this would work with unglazed, but anyways, there's the instructions on, on how to use it. Let's head over to the uh, clay pot and we'll check it out. All right, so I've got it here. Um, I'm not gonna say where I got this because it's from a local company, um, a local uh, Asian market, even though these are probably sourced from all over the world. And probably a lot of places use them, but that's not what's relevant. So I've got it here. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. So there's two tests in here. What it says is when you get it to squeeze and crush points A and B, and then we're gonna shake it and squeeze the fluid out. So we're gonna find A and B. Okay. And then it says to shake it twice. One, two. And then squeeze it until the fluid comes out. The yellow liquid. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna try to soak the whole swab with it. That way we get a... Okay, it's not really soaking in, so that's what we got. And then it says that once you've done that, to swab it for 30 seconds. So... I would have squeezed some more out to really spread it around. I mean, yes, I, I lost track of time, but longer can't hurt, so. If this does turn out to be negative, I'm gonna go ahead and test a lid also, even though it's realistically the same coating, but just in case. Okay, so it is yellow, which means there's no lead in it. Let's go ahead and test the lid. <clears throat> okay, and as you saw, it's yellow. So it looks like this is clear of having lead on it. Um, I am gonna recommend though, because it didn't take long to figure out that this is not common, but possible. If you have clay and it is coated, just test it. Lead leaking in your food is not something you want. Um, cadmium is also something, which I don't 
this doesn't test cadmium, I don't think, but lead is a very serious thing. So if you have clay, I don't know with uncoated if you can test it this way or not. I don't see why it would hurt, but with it being porous, I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. With that said, that has been my experiment slash product review of the 3M lead test. Sorry, lead check. Um, again, it's this is lead. This is something your body doesn't get rid of. It it, it, it it keeps it. It doesn't come out. So it's not like arsenic. With that said, uh, if you've got any questions about this or anything in general, down in the comments. It's hard to review or try, put in the comments. With that said, thank you guys very much for watching. And you have a good night.